Okay, this is a second try because I fucked up my first video by putting my finger in front of the uh, camera. So my dogs really aren't happy that I'm going out here for a second time. Um, just some quick updates. Uh, I trimmed some sage yesterday and I'm drying it out to make a smudge stick. Um, what is that? That's okay, those are just leaves. Um, I might have trimmed them too early, like as you can see here, I trimmed it back pretty close. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I went on YouTube and I found them and they were trimming, they were trimming sage leaves that were like this tall, you know, like almost a foot tall. Uh, I did trim some parsley. Uh, parsley was actually really, really easy to trim because you can see you have like this nice upper layer canopy here and then like a lower understory level, especially like right here on this plant. So that means that you can just cut the top off and the plant still has plenty of leaves to photosynthesize and things like that. Um, just pulling some grass. Uh, another thing that I was talking about was um, getting your plants to do what you want them to do. And now as you can see here, we have two very different blooms on this zucchini. Um, we have an actual zucchini here that's looking like it's really starting to put on some uh, some good mass and uh, you know be really healthy and it's gonna be really tasty and whatnot and then we have this bloom here that's just like on like a regular stalk this stalk is never going to fruit it's never going to produce uh, zucchini so I'm gonna come back out here with a pair of scissors after the after I quit you know video on this stuff and uh, I'm going to trim those because I want the plant putting all of its resources into making food, not just, uh, you know, flowers that aren't really going to help anyone. Um, I'm also thinking about maybe or not if I should stake some of these leaves away because they're really starting to branch out and uh, cover up this basil and a little bit of the parsley over here. Uh, just a lesson on, you know, spacing and things like that. I think Next year, um, whenever I go to plant zucchini, I'm just going to have, like, if I don't expand any more into the yard, uh, I'm just going to maybe just give, like, a whole garden to, uh, you know, four or five zucchini plants because they, they just take over. And that's great. Um, another thing is these lettuce leaves going to seed. Uh, I'm wondering if maybe I should clip off the flowers because then if I clip off the flowers the plant will probably put more of its resources going back into you know making the edible leaves but the thing is like a I like the pretty flowers and B um, I just have so much lettuce that it's more lettuce than I can eat like I'm free I I've, I've, think I have a gallon of uh, lettuce free in my freezer right now um, over here uh, I have my favorite bud of the whole thing, just because it's this tiny little plant making this pretty little flower. It's not going to produce a zucchini, but I'm going to leave it just because I like it and I think it's pretty. Um, carrots are growing really well. Uh, I am never, ever, 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 ever going to grow, try to grow broccoli here in Memphis ever again, because it's absolutely, it's absolutely not suited for this climate or this soil. Uh, what else? Pepper plants making some uh, decent headway. Um, you know, if I don't see any fruiting buds, you can, you can tell pretty much right away whenever the, the, a bud is going to produce a fruit or not. Oh, good. I'm starting to get my finger in front of that camera again. You can tell pretty much right away if it's going to make fruit or not, if it's going to make a, an actual, you know, zucchini, um, or not. So just feel free to trim buds um, as you see fit. Uh, I think that's all I got. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks.